Let me share my screen. It'll bring you back over here. Okay. So take one. Welcome to the Courageous Recovery Broadcast. I'm your host, Randy Mortensen. This is a weekly 25 to 30 minute program where we provide solutions for your I don't know how. Whether you're dealing with recovery issues, emotions from a loss, or maybe life is just throwing you one more curveball than you were expecting, I'm so glad that you've signed on to, to listen or listen and watch this today. Today, my, my brilliant guest is Thomas White, and he's just got some, some new news, some new products that, that you're going to be blown away by. So it's just a huge blessing to have him on. As I've, I've said before, it, it's great having listeners literally from coast to coast here in North America. And I think we're at <laughs> listenership in 25 or 26 countries from around the globe. So thank you so much for taking time from your busy schedules to connect. Depending on the platform you're watching this, there may be a subscribe button. Please subscribe if there is, or leave a comment because we hugely value your feedback and your input. So those comments really, really allow us to just stay relevant in, in what we're delivering on a weekly basis. For more information about me and my programs, you can go to my website, which is randymortensen.com. That's Randy, last name Mortensen, M-O-R-T-E-N-S-E-N. Later in the show, we'll talk about a 21-point assessment that you'll find there that's really a tool to determine whether you or a loved one qualifies for one of my programs called the Lifestyle Champion Cohort. That 21-point assessment will give you an idea as to whether or not you or that loved one is, is mild, moderate, or severe case of substance use disorder. And then if you're mild or moderate, you qualify for my program. If you're severe, then we've got some other connections for you. So enough of Randy talking. Thomas, welcome to the Courageous Recovery Podcast, sir. Randy, it's such a delight. Uh, I'm so thrilled to be here. I before I even spoke to you, I was de delighted and excited to be with you. But boy, after we've had a chance to to, to get to know one another before we start started recording, I I just realized we have uh, a lot in common. Absolutely, and and anybody who's listened to more than one show knows that my usual first question for my guest is, what is it that you know today that you wish your twenty two year old self would have known? I, I think I'm surprised all the time by how much more I can get out of my day, how much more time I have to devote the thing to the things that uh, where I drive my enjoyment. I'm a cyclist, so I, I, I do that. And, and I, I have these other passions that I pursue in as much glory as I ever have. Before I got sober, I wondered whether I would like the, those kinds of things. Would I like cycling and and I'm a big uh, music buff, so I go and hear a lot of live music, and I wonder, will it ever be the same for me? And the question is a resounding yes. It is every bit as gratifying as it has ever been, with without exception. It's so I that's I, I that's what I would say to that. Yeah, yeah. So when you say cyclist, you're talking bicycle cyclists, not bicycle. motorcycle cyclists. That's right, bicycles. Wow. I, I don't I, I don't fit the the physical uh, description of a bicyclist, but I have done that uh, avidly for 35 years at this point. And what's the longest single ride you've ever had? A um, hundred miler. Wow. 100 miler. Yeah. Uh, yes, wow. on, a, on a few occasions. I, 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 have a, I, have a good, I have a good friend who's actually gone coast to coast. So he dipped his wheel in the Pacific Ocean, road cross country to dip yep. his wheel in the Atlantic Ocean. Right. I used to live near the Blue Ridge Parkway and I, at some point I will go and I will ride the, the full length of the Blue Ridge Parkway. I have, I've ridden large swaths of it, but I've never ridden it from end to end. And I'll do that at some point. And how many miles is that? I should know, but I don't. Uh, yeah, I, 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 it's several hundreds. So it, it, yeah. it, so it'll be a, it'll be a camping, a, a bike camping trip, that kind of thing. So yeah, because I'm I, thinking it's like over. six, seven hundred miles. That, that's place. what I was going to say. I did uh, six to seven hundred is what I was going to say. That's but beautiful. We'll get fact checked. Beautiful. Wow, it's beautiful. I, yeah, I'm tempted to say, yeah, why don't I do that with you? And then it's like, why would you ever say that? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so we can talk about your recovery journey, but here's what I'm even more excited to talk about is your company that you and your son started called Exact Nature. So tell tell the guests what's the why behind Exact Nature and and t- just give t- talk about the journey that you've been on. Please. Sure. Well, first of all, I'll talk about where our name came from. And that is derived two words, exact nature from taken from the fifth step of AA's 12 steps. We admitted to ourselves, to another human being and to God, the exact nature of our wrongs. It's called the confession steps um, step. So we going into this, this, this was our aim. We don't, we sell CBD for people that want to curb their use of alcohol and, and drugs. That is our only mission. We don't sell CBD for tennis elbow or for your favorite pet. That is exclusively the reason that we are in, into this. And just a little bit of a backstory. I used to live in Reno, Nevada. I now live in Wells, Maine. Um, and before, before living in, in Reno, we lived in, in, in Maine. So it's coming back to Maine. Uh, but in Reno, my next door neighbor, uh, neighbors were the Perrys. The Perry started something called PNX Botanicals. They were the first hemp handlers or CBD suppliers in the state of Nevada. So with them, I, I, I had an opportunity to learn a lot about CBD, how it can be used. Uh, and these people are evangelists for CBD, as you would imagine. And this is what I have become. But through them, I first started talking about CBD for depression and anxiety. And they talked about how CBD is is very helpful with with mood and depression and anxiety. So, uh, and I I had known that much. I didn't, and then I, they did not know I was in addiction recovery. So pretty quickly, my my line of questioning said, what about for for addictions? Is Is it helpful? they just lit up and they talked about examples of theirs, friends of theirs that they, they had been giving their product to because they couldn't, they couldn't sell their product because they, they sell it only to, to people that have license to do so, but they would give their product to, to friends of theirs that had addiction issues and they lit up and they just said this, it, it helps in this way and that way. And so what that did is it piqued my interest and prompted me to do two to three months of just very extensive research about about CBD. And then I spent that time talking to formulators and and others that are involved with uh, really the the natural approach to getting sober. And so what we did is we derived proprietary formulas that take this very good CBD from my former next door neighbors who I have tremendous trust and confidence in. And we created these proprietarily formulated products that take a a premium CBD and surround them with all natural ingredients that have long been used for the particular issues that each of our products is aimed towards. So our products are aimed towards curbing addictive cravings. So Randy, as you know, we have to get them to abstain first, right? So uh, curbing addictive cravings. So we take the CBD, we surround them with amino acids, and you can go on our website and learn all of the, about all of the ingredients that we put in each product. Uh, uh, kudzu root has been used by the Chinese since 600 a- AD for use of curbing addictive cravings. So that's, we have a product detox for that. Then we have serenity, which is for mood and focus and and, on a larger scale, uh, depression, anxiety. So that's, so I, this was all coming together. I had a lot of confidence that a supplier could provide these products for us. So that's how it came about. So I, I have been a marketing guy in my, in my past professional career. And so I just said, all right, I'm, I'm taking the chance. This is something I believe in. I believe it can, it can help. So uh, I cut the cord uh, and here I am uh, two years later. And we've been in business for 15 months now. Yeah. And, and, and I, I think the irony in your career too is, is you started with Seagram's, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, absolutely. but it, was, it was great experience. For sure, you know, absolutely. And, and then you were fortunate to serve with 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 Peace Corps, so you saw yeah. the, a ton of international 
things that were done there, worked with, with, with a number of universities. And I only bring that up to just say, this is a, this, you're, you're a guy that has seen a ton of opportunities to make a lot of money, right? And yet you're just sensing this purpose in your life that says, hey, it's not a coincidence. I had a neighbor of some highly respected people, the Perry family in, in the yes. CBD world. And then, you know, you, you get to this point where I, I didn't know the whole exact nature, but it all makes sense as soon as right. you said it. But by the recognize- way, it's exact nature.com, folks. But what the naysayers that I've been around when it comes to CBD, the naysayers will normally say what to, to your products or to your whole idea or CBD in general? I've got one thought in mind, but I'm interested in hearing yeah. your as a CBD evangelist, part of my mission is to de- demystify and destigmatize CBD. Too many people associate CBD with marijuana. Yeah. They're, they're not, they're distant cousins. Yes, CBD and marijuana both are derived from the cannabis plant, but they're cousins. On one side is marijuana, which is very high in THC and very low in CBD. On the other side is hemp, which is just the opposite, very high in CBD and very low in THC. So that's where our, our CBD is derived from, we, because, uh, because we don't want that THC. And in fact, what THC remains in our products, we take out. So we don't, there, are, there is no THC in our products. So that, that is part of it, is this association with uh, the intoxicating effect of marijuana. It's not like that. There's, it's a non-intoxicating product. That is, that's part one. Maybe part two then has to do with a lot of people, and, and I don't get a lot of pushback. Uh, and some people that I think I might get pushback from some of the old timers that I know and have long known in, in a, the rooms of AA and NA and so on, they think it's, it's trading one crutch for another. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, CBD is all natural. Uh, it's not intoxicating. It's not addictive. Uh, there's, there, it, 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 there's no downside to it. So it's no different than eating a salad, if you will. Maybe that, that might be a stretch, but it's all natural, right? There, so there's not, it's not trading one crutch for another. What The only risk that people take when they take CBD, as long as it's premium CD, as, uh, CBD, as long as it's, it's good product, their only risk is of feeling better because right. it CBD is, uh, I am absolutely sold and I wasn't easily convinced about this. I've come into this, uh, I invested in the business and started this business because I believed in it. Now that I've done it for 15 months and t- talk to customers week in and week out, I am, uh, I am a leading evangelist for it. Well, and you, you, you touched on exactly where I was, where I was going. So great job the THC element of it. And, and even though I've, I've been a strong advocate of medical marijuana, um, and, yeah. and yet what I don't like is the lack of controls over this THC content. And, yeah. and so I've always been this strong advocate for the international standards, which are 0.03%, oh. right? And, and so I've been a strong advocate of that. And what I'm, what I understand your product to be is it's closer to to point zero one percent, if at all. Yes, that's right. Point zero zero one. Yeah, so point we, zero zero one. Legally, so, we can't say it's non-existent in there, but we do it because it's a it's a natural product, right? It's, yeah. It's yeah. an organic product. So, but we we make every effort to take it out, and you can see in our products we. Uh, we provide third-party lab testing for all of our products. So you can see the amount of, of THC. Well, the THC doesn't come up on any of the measures. So right. we, yeah. we can guarantee that. Well, and, and what I love about what you're doing is it's not you're saying, well, inpatient treatment programs are bad or intensive outpatient oh. IOP are, are, are not a good idea. You're saying, yes, let us help you have a better experience even in these early days of recovery. We've all seen people in delirious, you know, DTs, tremors. I've seen people go through hell in those early days of their of their clean time, their sober time. Why not take advantage of this natural product to supplement some of the other professional guidance that a person needs, right? Am I saying that properly? Yep, exactly right. Okay. 
Okay. So exactly right. just, let's let's take a take a moment's break here uh, because I want to I want my listeners to know that I do have another lifestyle champion cohort starting in June. For those of you who've been listeners for a while, you know it's an eight-week program where it's a ninety-minute weekly Zoom call where the first thirty minutes is teaching and then it's accountability um, and and support for each other. There's three phases. First phase is evaluate. I mentioned a 21 point assessment. We need to know where you are from from uh, uh, your recovery journey, where you're starting. So that's evaluate. Number two is equip. What are the tools required and what what CBD products would be good for you to to include in, in that journey? And then the third is how do you enjoy? It's one thing to quit drinking, to quit doing drugs, to stop the pornography addiction. But how do you now enjoy this new life? So if you're interested in that, just text Text me with champion to 66866 as champion to 66866 to see if you qualify and for me to give you a bit more information. But we have some exciting news to share with you today because Thomas, his website is exactnature.com. And I love the tie to the fifth step, you know, the exact nature of all our wrongs, exactnature.com. And you're offering a special to our listeners. What you want to talk about other ways to connect with you and your team, Thomas? Well, Randy, the the tremendous work you're doing on courageous recovery, uh, I'm so appreciative uh, that I what I want to do is I want to offer your audience a chance to try these products. And so we will, Courageous Recovery it would be long in a discount code. So we're going to shorten that to CR20. So anybody that places an order and when prompted at checkout uses the code capital C, capital R20, CR20, will get a 20% discount on, on their order. And I, just because I think we have so much, uh, our, our missions are so aligned Sometimes I, I will limit that offer. I'm not going to. It's going to, we're going to run it throughout 2020, 2022. So whenever, whenever anybody listens to this, if they listen, if they put in the code CR20 or watches this, CR20, they will get a 20% discount on their orders at the first awesome. order and, not, and ongoing. Awesome. And everything everything in the order. Yeah, it's huge news. So, so you, you have a page on Facebook also. Yes. That's exact nature. Twitter, Exact Nature, LinkedIn, um, you, you're on there, and Instagram also. So, what is is there is there a phone number on the website that they could reach out to you if they want to do that, or or do you not? The contact information is on the website. Okay. Yes, okay. it is. Okay. My my information, my direct information, uh, is on there. It's uh, support. My information is Thomas at ExactNature.com, or you can. Or we have a support email address as well, support at exactnature.com. We always try, and we're and and I don't know that we've ever failed this, but we always try to, to respond within 24 hours. Wow. That's yes. quite a trait to 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 tout for sure. Yes. And who's who's your who's your average customer at this point? Do you do you have a profile for your average for the typical customer right now? I Yes, I, I generally speaking, it's probably people that are 34 to 45 in, in that in that range, 34 to 46. Uh, a lot of these are a lot of our customers are young parents, people that probably like you and I, we as we became parents, we realized that uh, our our addictions and our alcoholism was not going to make us a good allow us to be a good parent and so a lot of people are coming to that realization so that's that's if i had to uh, that's that's the sweet spot of our customer base yeah and that makes sense it really does yeah. that that's that's the that's an age group that doesn't have all the negative connotations or the disbeliefs of well, the pharmaceutical company has the answer. Just take another pill. That's right. <laughs> That's I right. may be guilty of that. That's right. Well, yeah, me as well. Yeah. So, so that's that's awesome to to hear that. Well, let's let's also get a little personal here. You 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 recently celebrated 13 years of sobriety, and yes. and like me, 
you had a son that's battled. So what what would you say to that dad who's listening? Maybe mom too, but but I let, let's just do it man to man here. What would yeah. you say to that dad that maybe has that that son in early late teens into the twenties and they just don't know what to do about that son? What from a dad who's been through it, what would you give for some words of support and guidance? Right. Well, my son, as you, my oldest son is in addiction recovery and, and we knew that he had some of these issues and he had been to rehab and so on. But what really got him serious about this is uh, in June, it will be six years that he lost his best friend to an opioid overdose. So our, our sons and daughters, at, at, as they're growing up, they, they, they feel invincible, right? They just feel like this couldn't happen to them. But I, I would say to the son or daughter is that uh, fear not, that you can live a very productive, full, gratifying, reward, gratifying and rewarding life in sobriety. So they need to understand that. They also un- need to understand the consequences. Um, yes, alcoholism, as we know, will kill you over time. Opioids will kill you overnight. Right. And, and other street drugs, cocaine and other and heroin and others, they're laced with fentanyl, right? And we hear that that's, you know, 100 times more strong, stronger than heroin. So you can't, you can't take those risks anymore. And right. so the biggest thing that I felt going into my recovery was fear, fear of what life would be like once I was sober, fear of whether I could, whether I could do it. There was a lot of fear there. So they, they need to understand that the fear exists, but that life can be so much better uh, in sobriety. I I read something today about um, the about somebody they were they were measuring brain waves in somebody uh, an older man i think he was 86 and his life flashed before his eyes what they were as they what means is they were they were measuring these brain patterns and he died in the process and so they they captured these brain waves and so this supports a theory that as as people that have near death experiences experiences that that all of those things in your life suddenly or quickly flash before you as soon before death. I was thinking as I was reading that, and I'm going to make a blog article about it, I want that flash of those experiences to be filled with very good, gratifying images of things right. that, that, that not, not of the things that I experienced before I got sober. Some yeah, of that, yeah. yes, it wasn't all bad for sure. Right, uh, right. I, wa- I want it to be now filled predominantly with all those things that have been replaced by those, those images in, in this much more fulfilled life uh, on my sobriety. Yeah, those are great words. I love, I love just listening and processing. Right. So what would you say to that dad to encourage that dad who thinks nobody else has a son that's doing the things my son's doing? What would you say to that dad? Uh, you are not alone. There, yeah. that there is, there is no other parent, or no other person that hasn't been directly affected, and in, 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 in some ways, very important, sometimes tragic ways, with the same issues that that they are that they are facing. And there are so many resources out there now. Uh, for the addicts themselves, but also the parents that are, are have a, uh, children facing addiction issues. So seek out the the uh, the resources out uh, out there, and and your program is one example of that. I, I I know you you would never turn away a father that says I'm 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 dealing with this with a a son or daughter and. Uh, it's it, there are so many resources don't give up don't give up on on their child um it, th- th- there's there's light at the end of the tunnel as long as you, we can get them through that as long as we can but part of that is knowing that uh, th- that their fear fear of sobriety is real but it's the 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 other side of that is a very uh gratifying rewarding not always perfect life but right. 
Yeah, but good words. And in, in, in recovery, we, we will often say is it's the guilt and shame that leads to relapse or leads to those negative behaviors. It's the guilt and shame of parents that will hold them yeah. back from oh, that son or daughter that they, they deeply love, but because they've maybe not been through it themselves, or maybe they haven't experienced, you know, what, what that son or daughter, that son in, in this example is going through, but don't quit. You know, the last yeah. thing, the last thing I needed was people to quit on me when I was in my deepest, darkest times. Right. Right. And, right. and so when we love on them, when we encourage them, despite the shortcomings, that's, that's what I would say to that dad, similar to, to your great yeah. words of encouragement is, right. you know what, you're not alone. Yes. Many of us have been down that path before you and we can claim victory. Right. Yes. So, that's right. Good. Good. Okay. So what, what else can we, what else should we, should our listeners know about access to your product? How do, how do oh. we, how do we wrap up with that? Yes. Exactnature.com has all the information you need, all the ingredient lists. They tell you why we're doing this. Our products uh, aim at three particular issues. One is curbing those addic addictive cravings. The other is mood and focus in, in a larger sense, depression, anxiety, and then getting better sleep. Those are the issues that I faced when I first got sober. When I first got sober, when my active addiction moved out, depression moved in. Now that is all I take. The only thing I take now for, for, for my depression is CBD and it works every bit as well as the as the pharmaceutical medicines prescription medicines did and that's not to say it works perfectly all the time it doesn't uh, but it works every bit as nor did the prescription meds but it works every bit as well as those so uh and there's there's just no downside to it and the thing about cbd and, and our products certainly is there's no risk you take these products um and the, the only risk is risking not by not taking them, you risk not feeling better. Right. We've been in business 15 months. We've sold to every state. Uh, our, our repeat purchase rate, rate is tremendous. We've had, we offer a money back guarantee and one customer has taken it, taken it, taken advantage of that in the, in the, uh, in the year and a half. Or that 15. speaks well. That speaks well. And then the other thing I just love, it's all natural. And it's right. all natural it's chemicals. They're not, there's not poison in this. Right. And, and so I'm not, I'm not suggesting that everybody that took our product all of a sudden became sober. No, I'm not suggesting that, but I am suggesting in a strong way that everybody that took our products did, did experience uh, some, the positives that come with, uh, with CBD. It's a, it's right. a, good thing and in 15 years it's going to be as common as as wow. that's awesome that's awesome okay so it blows my mind how fast this time goes but I've... ladies and gentlemen the overdose deaths rates in in the last two years have just skyrocketed they had tripled even coming into 2020 uh over that 30-year period but now they've even exceeded that so right now in the united states we're seeing 150 plus overdose deaths per day in the United States, it's costing our economy $800 billion or more annually. So if you know somebody who's struggling today, or maybe you're that person who's battling compulsive and destructive behavior, as Thomas said earlier, please don't wait another day to seek help. You can call my office number that's 321-757-HOPE. That's 321-757-HOPE. I will connect you with any resources that I have in my network or call someone that you know and trust because the people that are dying today are husbands, wives, sons, and daughters of, of someone who loves them. Today's the day. So Thomas, in, in just in, in final words of encouragement, as we wrap up here, this awesome episode, what would you say to, to, this, to, to the listeners? Well, to, one thing is that CBD has been approved by the FDA for clinical trial to help with opioid addictions. So while the research, it's, we, there's still a lot of research to be done about CBD, but, but the use and positive experiences that people are having with CBD is outpacing that research. Don't, don't be afraid of that. CBD is a very good thing. It can help with curbing addictive cravings. It can be a path to a, a better life. 
And if you or a loved one is still facing recovery, either directly or indirectly, just fear not. There is life in recovery and it's every bit, no, no, it's, it's much better than it would ever be. And yeah, that, much better than we ever imagined it to be, that's right? right? That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this information helpful today. Look for the replay of this to be available on, on all the podcast online outlets. Our website is at Buzzsprout, Apple Podcasts, you'll find it, Google Podcasts, and many, many others, including Spotify and the Facebook group. Have a blessed day and be extraordinary today.